Hi guys, this is Blojos, and today I will be reviewing for you uh, Neko, Neka, Neka's Evil Dead 2 line Hero Ash figure. Uh, I got this at my local toy store, or my local comic book store, for $20.99. Um, anyways, let's get into this review. So, uh, as you can see from the packaging, it's uh, very reminiscent of the original poster. Uh, you got the skull with the eyes down here in the lower right corner and says which figure you're getting. Evil Dead 2 up top and some nice uh, forestry in the background there. And on the side it says Dead by Dawn, Dead by Dawn, Evil Dead 2. And uh, this figure is recommended for ages 17 and up. So if you're not 17 and up, you cannot get this figure. I'm sorry. You're going to have to ask your parents first because you don't want to get in trouble. Anyway, on the side here you can see uh, a picture of the toy. It says Groovy. <clears throat> Underneath where the sticker is here it says uh, 25th anniversary and uh, yada yada yada. On the back here you can see a little write up. It says after a relaxing cabin vacation doesn't go as planned. Ash is left with three dead friends, an undead girlfriend, and an angry evil spirit on the loose. As nightfall approaches, Ash must prepare to again battle the legions of the damned if he wants to make it to dawn. Celebrate the 25th anniversary of Evil Dead 2 with this exciting new collection of highly detailed posable action figures. Figures include scene-specific accessories to help you reenact the gleefully gory masterpiece that is Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn, which I do own on Blu-ray. Anyway, that out of the way, you can see the other figures in the line, which are uh, Deadite Ash, uh, Farewell to Arms Ash, Hero Ash, and Henrietta. Um, just whatever jibber-jabber on the bottom. That's it for the box. Toss that aside. And here we have... Here, let's see if I can get a front view of this guy. With the light on his face. There we go. So here we have Hero Ash. Uh, this was the very first Ash figure released from NECA that has the chainsaw for the right hand instead of uh, either a stump or his other right hand, I guess. Uh, he comes with a shotgun and the uh, laughing moose head from later on in the film. I guess this would be a deer head, sorry. Whoops, I'll uh, talk more about that later. But... Uh, for uh, initial presentation, this guy is pretty awesome. Uh, he's got a decent amount of articulation. He's got a ball jointed head, which really can only do a little bit of up and down and side to side. You can get some tilt action out of it too, so you can have him look puzzled or menacing, or not really menacing because of the facial expression. But anyway, um, he's got. Uh, ball and socket shoulders, swivel hinge elbows, so you can get a decent amount of articulation out of that, um, a ball wrist, swivel at the waist, oh sorry, and an ab crunch as well. Uh, he's got a V crotch, a swivel at the thigh, um, another swivel hinge uh, joint for the knee, and I believe he has swivel, oh and a bit of tilt action at the boot. So, uh, decent amount of articulation, pretty much all you really need with Ash. He's not like an acrobat or anything. But uh, for articulation, I'm going to give it uh, 8 out of 10 just because I I hate V crotches. Would have been much nicer to see something like, uh, oh, I don't know, like uh, DC's joint there, there for their figures. But anyway, for the hips anyway. But... Uh, for uh, articulation, 8 out of 10. For paintwork, I'm going to give this guy a 9, 9.5 out of 10 because the uh, the weathering that NECA manages to do at the price point that they sell for is really quite fantastic. Um, he's got uh, really nice weathering and blood on his shirt there and on his face he's all cut up and bloody and he's even got 5 o'clock shadow if you can make that out in the picture there. Um, the chainsaw actually looks like metal and is all gored up as well. The uh, pants look like look like denim, and the the shoes here are actually pretty weathered up nicely too, and got, got some mud and such on them. Really nice looking figure. Um, 
for paint, I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. Um, I Just for the record, I hardly ever give 10 out of 10. Um, just, you know, I'd, I'd give it 9 out of 10 because on the back here, his uh, skin is like almost white, if you can kind of see that. And uh, it's bleeding over onto the shirt. So just little things like that tend to hold things back for me. Um, for value, at $21, he is a little bit on the expensive side. But this is also a figure that you're probably not going to see again for a while. So I personally, for value, I'm going to give this guy 8 out of 10 because that's, that's a pretty decent price. I mean, you're getting a, a decent action figure, a good representation of Ash, and uh, he's, you know, he's got all the detail that you'd ever really need. Um, maybe not the most, not, maybe not the best articulated, but this is a pretty damn good Ash figure. It's pretty groovy, if you catch my drift. Uh, one thing that I did do to mine, uh, but just heed my warning when I say this, is I did cut the finger from the hand because when he comes out of the box, he um, he can't hold his shotgun with his finger on the trigger. Uh, I fixed that on mine, but when I was cutting, I kind of cut over into the finger a bit. So um, he kind of looks like he has a gibbled finger, if you can make that out. But um, I th personally think it looks better when he can hold the trigger with his finger. And uh, if you do decide to do that, just be careful. Um, I think it improves the look that much better and before he couldn't really hold the gun so I mean it's a win-win or it's a you know six of one half a dozen of the other uh, for accessories he does come with his boomstick obviously like I've just been talking about and the deer head which does have a nice ball joint uh, unfortunately there's no like uh, way to like mount this on the wall you probably have to put some double-sided tape on there and uh, you know, if if you've got a uh, one six scale log cabin at home, it would be really cool to uh, to really mess it up and put uh, Ash and Henrietta in there, and then put the laughing deer head on the wall. That would look awesome. But anyway, um, that set aside, uh, this is a great figure. If you can find this where you live, I found mine at uh, my comic book store. But apparently, you can get um, you can get these at Toys R Us in the states I've never seen them at my Toys R Us but anyway great figure um, very good price point in my opinion uh, you're getting good value good uh, representation of the character and I mean it's the best one out there so far I mean the only other hero Ash that was available before this guy was um, McFarlane's uh, movie maniacs Ash which sucked awful but uh, anyway uh, this is Hero Ash. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think. Uh, I'll talk to you later, guys. This is Blojo signing out. Keep collecting whatever it is you collect.